Hey y'all, Billy Thomas here with a quick video to help you when you're importing and exporting a text file in SQL Server and you get a truncate text error. All right, let's get to work. So I've taken us right to the place where you're getting the error that we're working on here. So it says data conversion failed. Now pay attention here. It says the data conversion for the column country restored, returned the status value of four and was truncated. That means that the data in your country field is too long. Now the best thing you could do at this point is to go out and profile that data using Excel. It's tab delimited. Excel will open that up. I do something like a length statement on that to find out what's the max length that you have to deal with. And then you can just use uh, that information. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can just guess or make it a long length and try to get it in. And in this case, I've already profiled this data. There are three columns that I know have uh, data that's too long. So I'm going to show you how we fix this and get the data into SQL. If I go back here, so we close out the error and we just back all the way up to where we have the data source chosen. This is the secret sauce right here. You need to go in and you need to click this advanced. And in the advanced, you'll see all of the columns. Well, country is one of them. And right now it says that the output column width is only 50. Guess what? There's a field column length in there that's over 50. So we're going to make this 100. And I believe the description and the industry were the other two that had string lengths more than 50. Let's see if we got it. We just go through, hit finish, and if we've got it, it's all going to import. Okay, we had a warning message, that's not a problem, and 10,000 rows truncated. There you go. Not 10,000 rows truncated, 10,000 rows imported. Hey, if you found this video to be helpful, please, like the video and subscribe to my channel.